four hours New York, Mr. Snail, Ms. Sharon, Allen, Frank, uh, New York, New York. Mr. Chat Shapiro, good morning. I'm excited. I'm excited. I got here to the office early to uh, get some uh, content ready for you guys. Um, I'm excited for um, for things happening in Next Level Leadership as always. Um, I'm thankful for having you all you guys and being able to share some of uh, my little nuggets that I have for you guys today. I hope that I can empower and give knowledge and give and serve you guys, right? Um, like Mr. Chat Shapiro says, in order to deserve, you have to serve. So today I'm serving all of you. Thank you, Mr. Chad Shapiro, for being on the call. And also, not only that, but for your vision. Thank you for allowing us to uh, come together as entrepreneurs and uh, uh, having uh, the ability to, uh, to stand up, to lead, to change the world. Because as you guys can see, NLL is all around the world. Thank God for technology. You know, think that some, some of us uh, don't like technology too much. But uh, think about it, if it wasn't for technology, we would not be able to be connected like we are today, right? Um, hello, Esther, how are you? Uh, Mr. Gary, Mr. Esther Brown, Victoria, all your Mason, Mark Christensen, thank you guys for just being here. Thank you for giving yourself an opportunity to grow, develop, lead, empower other people. I'm excited, let's get started, let's get started. Of course, we always start with an amazing thing, which is, Facebook fan page. You know, I was thinking about how amazing and technology is, is and uh, he, this is so powerful because uh, next um, Facebook has given us the ability to see what do I want to see first? What do I want to see first when I get up and, and, and get on my Facebook? Uh, you want to see, you know, some things that can give you that that uh maybe that quote for that day something to give you that lift for that day kind of like what i do my my leadership training my um, my uh my devotions and everything in the morning because i need to feed my mind i need to feed, feed my spirit right but we also know that two out of every three three people are going to get on, on facebook right and imagine if we the first thing we see is something positive to get us through the day and sometimes we get so used to seeing these things that you're like, okay, that's just another quote, another quote. But start practicing, start reading those quotes back to yourself. Okay, so step one, you know, definitely, definitely, if you have not done so, follow it. You know, I know we have a lot of people, all new people all the time. So step two, see first. And then uh, see first, you have to see first, otherwise you'll just be back on the, on the regular feed. And then also step three, you have to invite people to these guys. If you want your teams to grow, you have to get them, uh, get them to start seeing the next level of leadership. They have to see what you're doing. People don't do as we do. They 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 don't do as they don't do as we say. They do as we do, right? So that's enough for the fan page. Go do the steps if you have not done so, and I promise you, you'll give you, you'll be fed every day, not just Tuesdays and Thursdays. So. Um, as as we all know, you know some of the features that it has in in here in the back office. Um, some of the goal the goal settings. You know, if we don't if we don't plan, we plan to fail, right? You know, that's another quote that I've seen in next level leadership. I, I I'm practicing all these quotes because I want practicing to myself. You know, the contact page, the pages, tools. Um, and I was thinking about the other day of, of the amazing tools that we have in next level leadership, like landing pages and. Sometimes we don't really understand what this landing pages can do. But after today, I hope that we're able to see a little bit farther in the vision. You know, sometimes we have to see through other people's eyes, and we're definitely doing it through next level leadership with all the amazing thank you so much for all you guys who stepped up and do trainings because without you, I would not be fed either, you know. Uh, so that's some things that we need to uh, to see. You know, of course, Next Level Leadership, we have amazing uh, services and, and products that we can offer our either ourselves, you know, we start with ourselves, right? You, you, if what they know for things to grow, you know, you have to grow, you have to grow yourself and using uh, some tools like business cards, business leads, 
uh, messenger marketing, which I'm working on some uh, amazing trainings for that. So stay tuned very, very, very soon that I'm going to be doing this next level fitness, work on yourself daily. I do that every day, except today. I'm just decided to come in in the morning and I'll do my next level fitness later on this afternoon. Request for private group coaching. I've done several of those here in San Antonio. And let me tell you that people are hungry for knowledge and they're willing to pay. Are we willing to tell them that? And sometimes uh, I know that we are in information overload. So all this information and we seem to forget sometimes of the amazing tools that we have. And of course, social media tools. Because sometimes we can schedule all those different posts and do, you know, it has an internal uh, graphic designing little platform in there to make things very simple for you. So if you guys have not done so, go to the social tools and get the 14 day trial. If you don't like it after that, don't use it. But I promise you, you'll get hooked on it. You know, you'll get really hooked on it. Um, one of my most amazing products here is Next Level uh, Insider Cruise. Why? I got to meet some amazing people. You guys have no idea. I know I say it over every time and I will continue to say it. I got to meet some amazing people face to face. We got to train together. We got to have fun together. We got to dance together. We had we got sun together. We got we laughed together. It was just some amazing uh, um, amazing things happening. So the amazing Cruise, sometimes we want to look at the price, but actually what I'm looking at is for the value. What am I getting for this? You know, and that's how we are. And psych psych psychologically, we're thinking like that. Man, $49.97. Yeah, but are you going to come back a new person? I would pay $49.97 if, if I knew that that was going to happen, right? Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. So one of the things that um, that I've I've learned is this. So this that's enough for this one. You know, please go back. I know we repeat it every Tuesday and Thursday, but you guys have no 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 idea the power it will be when you start practicing and implementing these things that we're learning here. Uh, I definitely do. You know, I always repeat some of the quotes from Mr. Uh, Chad Shapiro because those those quotes really have changed how I do presentations, how I speak to people. And if, if we just listen in those quotes and not implementing them, it's very hard, right? So I am going to start by by saying this. I am I'm here because today I want to give you guys more value. I want to give you guys some, maybe some some uh, nuggets that you can take into your business. I'm telling you this because. I'm doing them and I'm giving value to you guys. And if you implement this, I promise you, I promise you that it will change how you do your business. I've taken my time to do a lot of training, a lot of studying on, on marketing. And those are things that, you know, as an entrepreneur, I think that a lot of us, I, I, and I think we spoke about this last time on the, the VIP Saturday, uh, Saturday VIP training, which it was. Uh, understanding your perfect customer, right? So if you guys listen to that and implementing it, think about this. If you knew your perfect customer, right, and you knew where they were at, and you knew exactly who they were, I'm, my perfect uh, that target is it's a lady who's 35 to 45, you know, that lives in, um, you know, they have kids, they have a family, you know, that's looking for what I have, right? But what if we don't know how to speak to them? So here is what I have. It, here's a question for you guys, actually. Instead of me saying it, I will have a question for you. How would you like some marketing secrets today? If nobody wants them, I'll change it. Marketing secrets. These are marketing secrets because I'm telling you that I didn't even know them. I, I've literally been in marketing for 15, 20 years, and I did not know what I'm learning today. And that's why I'm excited to share with you guys because I bring it, I learn all this stuff and I bring it back to taking notes, taking notes. Yes, I love it. Take some notes because this is going to change your business. I'm telling you guys, just be willing to listen and take notes. I'm going to give you 
everything I can. I'm just gonna pour it out into you. So since you got what you guys want, marketing secrets, I'm gonna tell you one thing, three things that I'm gonna show you today, right? In all of our marketing, it doesn't matter whether we are a network marketer, whether we are a traditional business, whether you're a real estate agent, whatever you are, if you guys are in here, it's because you guys are entrepreneurs in one way or another, right? And entrepreneur means, in, in, and I tell people a lot, uh, I tell this to a lot of people, which meaning, think about this. We, in, let's talk about network marketing. We're network marketing, right? But we're great at networking, but we're not great at marketing. When I got that, I was like, wow, so right. I know, mark, I knew, I knew sales. I, I tell people at the time, I can sell ice to an Eskimo. But I was not understanding the psychology behind marketing. So here we go, guys. Are you ready? Drum roll. Drum, drum. That did not sound like a drum roll, but I tried, okay? So it's okay. It's okay. We're going to make it fun. We're going to laugh. That's right. Uh, uh, here we go, guys. When you understand the hook, the story, and the offer, Please, please, please write it down, write it on a piece of paper, and then try to, you know, all this stuff that I'm going to give you. It's a lot of stuff to give you in 20, in 20 minutes, guys. That's why I went through the beginning really fast, but I'm going to continue to do to do it and to maybe uh, kind of package it together and just a hook and maybe just a story, maybe just an offer. But this is just going to be the basics today, right? So just, just kind of like, like, this is going to be the hook, okay? This is going to be the hook. So understanding this every business selling online needs or online products or online services need a great hook a great story and a great offer so so let so let, you know let's back up a little bit and understand really well what is a hook so most of us know that the hook is actually a piece of metal used to catch things, right? Most popularly fish, right? So when you go fishing, you put the bait in the hook, yes? After all, if you would just throw in a bunch of bait in the water, it would be very difficult to catch any fish, right? You getting, getting this? But when you combine the bait with the hook, the fish is naturally attracted to the bait. And the hook is what stops them from swimming in the direction that they were going. And, and instead of that, they come into your direction, a.k.a. your boat, your blue ocean. When you understand that everything starts with the right hook, your business will change. We're just throwing stuff out there and, and, and sometimes... You know, because I'm, I'm guilty of that. You know, at the beginning, I was like, what the heck do I post? But I was thinking about me. What am I going to post? Not what people are looking for. Right? And, and, and I started studying, like, commercials and seeing the commercials on the radio, on TV, on Facebook, and advertising. And they were all doing the same thing. Wow. Think think yourself in, in a crowded street in New York City, right? And if you had someone's attention, uh, it would be very hard to get anybody's attention, right? So what would you have to do to get a person's attention in the middle of a New York City, right? I mean, you got to understand who's out there, right? Um, most, of, most of the people think, you know, you have to do, and actually you would think something like, pretty crazy, amazing, polarizing, surprising story, you will have to say without those two actions happening, you can't get a message across to anybody. Forget selling anything. The hook is essentially a part of the selling process because it causes two actions in our potential customer, right? One, it stops them from whatever they're doing, scrolling, reading, etc., right? And second of all, it repositions their focus and attention to you, your ad, your sales page, your offer, your landing page. Like the ones we have with Next Level Leadership. See why, see why those tools are so, so important? 
So I want to give you two story, two story, two real quick stories to understand the hook and understand who who has done some of the things like that who are so amazing and I studied them. Let's let's look at I don't I don't know if you guys ever hear uh, uh, heard of the guy fit to fat to fit, right? That was the uh, his name is Drew Manning I think yeah Drew Manning. He's the creator of the uh, seven day keto jumpstart. In a crowded health and marketplace, we know if you're in health and wellness, the marketplace is crazy. And I'm in health and wellness. That's why I have to say, wow, something, I have to do something to get people to be attracted to me versus a thousand different products out there. Right? So he knew he had one great hook in order to catch people's attention. So he decided, he, he really did it on purpose. He did it to get the hook. He went, he decided to get fat so he could get fit again. And now that is what the possible, and that's possible for anybody. He went from fit to fat to fit. For Drew, his, his, um, literally, his title of his, web, that was his the title of his website. What we'll get is into the story, since it was part of his process, you, you see what, that, that hook nobody else has, right? Let, let's, took, let's think about the second one. Another one example was the, the health market, uh, Dave, I think Dave Asprey or something like that from Bulletproof Coffee. And diet, where everybody, anybody heard of that Bulletproof Coffee? Well, just like Drew, he faced the problem so many diets, right? Again, we're going into this, and how do I know this? Because I'm studying what people are doing, because I've heard from um, uh, Tony Robbins, if you want to be successful in life, I don't need to reinvent the wheel. I just need to figure out what somebody's doing and imitate what they're doing. The hook story and offer, everybody's doing it that knows it. Don't believe me? Think about Amazon. When you go in Amazon and you go try to buy, let's just say, I don't know, let me, let me think about iPhone. You, you buy a phone on Amazon. I don't even know if you can or not, but let's just say you buy an iPhone, right? Or even I want to sell an iPhone. When you buying something, when you're selling something to somebody, you're creating a new problem for them, right? We're going to go into that in a minute. So let's go back to the Bulletproof Coffee. What he did, <clears throat> his magic he did by suggesting people to put butter in the coffee. People were like, what? That's what you want to get people to do. Say what? That's a hook. When people have this telling you, say, say what? And I think that one of the biggest problems for us is, well, I'm really, really convinced that one of the reasons why people skip over this is because it's hard. It's honestly one of the hardest parts of the whole selling process. That's why we don't do it. But once you have the great hook, everything becomes infinitely easier. We cannot skip part of a selling process. Part of the selling process is getting the hook on there. So, some of the things that we got want to look at into understanding um, ways, I, I guess, to look for a good hook, right? Um, it's it's some things that we have to go into we experience ourselves like look into your past childhood is there anything that happened that would make a good story right we look into that and then pick the juiciest part of the story and lead with that as the hook you know we another way we can do is look at the struggles or obstacles is there something that you've done or had done but down to you to make a good story. Again, pick the juiciest part of the story and lead with that as a hook. Let me see another one. Um, try to create a story by doing something cool or crazy. If you don't have anything in the past with struggles with, I don't know why we would it, we all have, right? I, I, I lead with, you know, I just needed that leadership training. I lead and I needed all this stuff. We, we, we know we need it. You know, but what's what's the hook for that? You know, that's a great, great hook 
to understand that many entrepreneurs need what we have here today in next level leadership. You know how many people need this story, what I'm saying today? A lot of entrepreneurs today don't not, don't not have and don't understand this. Well, guess what? Next level leadership offers all this for you guys' growth. Another way um, that you can actually try to um, look for a good hook would be uh, look at a common wisdom and throw rocks at it. What people currently think and do and talking about regarding the common wisdom of the day. Can you poke holes in it? You know, I heard the other day that it says throw rocks at your competitors, but throw rocks at the co competitors, right? Not at people. So be very careful with that because we don't want to throw rocks at people. That's not what we're here for. And um, when you guys understand that we need the right hook and the right story and the right offer, your entire business will change because I've studied people that are doing this and making amazing, amazing, amazing results. We don't think we need a hook. You need a hook. If everybody else in the industry needs a hook, what makes you different? Or more makes me different. I need to understand the hook, the story, and the offer. If you understand marketing and everybody's doing this to you already, we need to understand ourselves. Hook, story, offer, guys. Okay? So I'm going to move pretty fast here. I told you I'm not going to have enough time. Um, we need to extend this uh, training for an hour, hour and a half, right? Just kidding. Okay. So let's go. Um, to the story, right? So, in, in the first one, what we did is actually the story, and then I'm going to go to the hook. I mean, the story. The story gives us the context of the book. It also serves to bond the seller to a customer, right? Have you ever, have you guys ever seen a movie, um, where you don't even care what happens to the main character? I've seen a few. I mean, we're getting a lot better, but I've seen some movies that I'm like, I'm just changing the channel or moving over. I mean, I did, and I don't watch TV anymore, but if you psychologically start thinking about this, what other people are doing, then you can actually start implementing what successful people are doing, what commercials are doing. I don't think we watch enough. I'm, I, at least me, I was not paying attention enough to what other people, how are people selling? Why am I not doing the same strategy? So that's the reason why we, we watch a movie and we don't even care what happened to the main character. That's because the producer and the writer didn't tell the right story. What? They didn't create enough context or meaning to give you the emotional attachment to the character. The selling process is an emotional one. So when you get the hook, now you got to go into the story, which meaning people buy from emotional most most people are emotional buyers so we all need to get really good at telling stories and i know some of us are like oh no you know we need to we really need to understand that okay um so what the next step is going to be is what understanding that the 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 focus on the story and i'm going to give you some free real quick things that you may want to write down um, so that way it'll help you understand how the story should be told like me you know one day guys i'll tell you my you know my story in three minutes so you'll understand because i've been focusing on what's my hook what's my story my story is five years ago i was stressed out i was depressed you know i was overweight i was uh, mr chat Shapiro says it all the time i was a 48 percent body fat i was pre-diabetic i was a mess and a half but then something happened see that story you want to get people emotional because they i want people to understand what i went through because they're like going through that same thing so you, that emotional attachment is what helps so some of the things you want to look at in in a telling a story it's it's called the backstory what happened what is the context that led you to look for a solution to the problem or desire right then the second one is desire 
what do you want to accomplish? And again, this is when you're telling your story. Your story should be maybe three to five minutes, right? That's why if you guys are not comfortable with doing video, I suggest you get in front of that camera and start practicing it. The desire, what did you want to accomplish? The next one is the wall. The wall meaning what problem did you face when you started your journey? The, I call it the epiphany. The epiphany is what was the aha moment that, and what did it feel like? What was the plan, the next one plan? What is the plan that you used to get the results you wanted? What was the next one, what is the conflict? What conflict did you experience along the way? And then what was the achievement? And then what was the transformation? What was the result? And how did, did it change? When you tell people that story, so again, it's backstory, desire, wall, epiphany, plan, conflict, achievement, transformation. If you think that you cannot do something like that, maybe um, you know, telling a short story like, once upon a time, there was a one, who, backstory, every day, two, the desire, one day, three, the problem, because of that, number four, which was the um, attempt, the epiphany, right? Because of that, boom, they, I got the epiphany, right? And then five, the struggle and the conflict. So this happened, this was my conflict, this was my problem, this is what happened in the number six, until finally I found this program, I found this solution, right? And we all have that, we, we all have the, the hook, we all have the story, we're just not implementing it properly, all right? And it's 1027, so I gotta go pretty fast. I told you guys, this is not enough. I could sit here an hour, two hours talking about this. This is such a powerful stuff. So the offer. Guys, okay, we're gonna talk about the next three minutes with the offer and we're gonna let you go, okay? So think about this. And the offer is this. Most of us, if we sell a wellness program, let's just stick with wellness program, right? I don't know, you have the, the perfect um, shake or the perfect protein bar, I don't know, whatever, or a keto, keto diet, or whatever. And you're offering that product. Let me ask you a question. How many other people are offering the same product? Thousands, right? Thousands of people. So think about this, and this is, I think, is it's a, it's very, very, very. So here, everyone sells gas, yes. So there's millions of places you can go buy gas from, correct? So everyone selling the same product. The customers drive to whatever gas station is the closest or whoever is the cheapest, yes or no? They all compete for convenience and price. If that's your business model, that's a horrible business to be in because you're now chasing people down to the bottom of the margins and are going to get the smaller until eventually you have no profit whatsoever. So one of the things that I say about an offer, and you got to think about this, is this. Let's think about um, uh, you know, um, when you're buying a, a, a car, right? So let's talk about the iPhone again. So if you really think about the offer, let's go to iPhone. iPhone is stand out, right? As the, so if, you, if you're thinking about the offer, people, everybody can buy the same phone. But if you go to, let's talk about Amazon. When you go by Amazon and you buy that one thing, what they're doing is, again, because I'm selling them this iPhone, right? So when you're selling them this iPhone, you have all these different problems that you're creating for people, right? So think about this. What if I sell the iPhone to you guys and I tell them, hey, by the way, I have an iPhone for, for, for sale, but you know, my iPhone comes with this uh, next level leadership app where you can actually pull any quote and, and structure for everything for you and your team. My offer also has a Boxer app on, already installed on it because it, it actually connects directly. You click the button and you can talk to Mr. Chad Shapiro automatically and uh the other one is that uh, my phone already has some landing pages included in it for you to just put the title of the thing and send it to somebody else um so now my phone is a thousand dollars 
and your phone is 600 but my phone has a better value because I put an offer behind it. Wow. So understanding that we we can put an offer behind it, don't be the cheapest. If you can't be the, the cheapest, be the most expensive. People need what you have. We just need to understand them. They do it to us all the time. They offer us all the time. They do it on Facebook. They do it on TV. They do it on, you know, if you go buy a car, they say, if you buy a car here, we'll give you an oil change for, you know, for the whole year. We'll give you 30, uh, 100 miles, 100,000 miles guarantee, warranty. Uh, you know, you get to eat cookies and, and coffee every time you come. We have the best customer service, all these reviews, right? What are they selling you? The offer. They give you free uh, air in your tires every week. They wash your car. And I'm talking about for real, that Lexus does that. You see what I'm saying? They're selling you the offer. So, guys, I know it's 1031. I have so much more. I have so much more. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really thankful for you guys to be on there. I hope that you really start, you know, thinking and, and taking into consideration that, you know, we have to be professional entrepreneurs, that we need to understand sales and marketing and strategies. Um, Part two, yeah, we're gonna. Do, I gotta do part two, and the next one I want to do is kind of like start structuring it and break it down into what we understand little bit, bit bits and pieces, so that way we can all grow, we can all develop, we can all become the best entrepreneurs in the world because they're gonna say, you know what, I did it through next level leadership, and if you want to be like me, you gotta come to next level leadership. If not, you can continue to be a failure, and we're not failures in next level leadership, right? Thank you guys so much. I know it was uh, a lot of stuff in a few minutes, but uh, the hook story and offer is an amazing thing. Um, I will be, I will make sure that I will continue to feed you as much as possible when I get the chance to. Thank you, Mr. Chad Shapiro, for allowing me to do this, share with this with you guys. Have an amazing, amazing rest of the week, and see you guys on Thursday.